church. It's great to be with you today. Beautiful day and a beautiful weekend that we had together. So let's stand together and uh, let's come before him this morning with uh, praise and worship on our lips today as we honor and lift up our Lord and Savior today. This first song reminds us that it is our God who saves. Amen. So let's sing it together.
great to see so many people greeting each other this morning. And it's great to be here with you. My name is Andy, and I'm uh, privileged to be the pastor of this uh, great church, great people. And uh, I'm so thankful that uh, you've chosen to worship uh, with us this morning. If you are a guest today, we want to say a special welcome to you. And uh, we just ask that you would uh, simply take one of those yellow connection cards and the pew rack in front of you. And if you'd fill it out with some basic information, that would help us to know uh, just who's been here. If we've had some new folks, we'd love to know that. If you want to indicate any sort of prayer requests or anything you might have that we can pray for, uh, you can please put that on there. We'd really appreciate it. But uh, we're so glad that you're here today. I want to draw your attention to just a couple of announcements. You have a bulletin. I'd encourage you to read through those. Um, but uh, we've got uh, several things coming up in, in September, which is just a couple weeks away. Uh, we've got our uh, alabaster coming up in September. We'll be collect, taking our offering for that. So you've got those little uh, alabaster boxes. You're filling up with your coins and your change. Or on that day, you can just write a check or drop in some cash. But that's coming up. Uh, our ministry fair coming up in September. You can read about that there. Bible quizzing starts then, uh, as well as a membership class. Uh, if you want to learn more about what it means to be a member here at South Bend First Church of Nazarene, that's also coming up in September. So keep those dates uh, put away there in your calendars. We'd really appreciate if you would join us for those uh, opportunities uh, to worship and to serve together. Uh, how many of you noticed, speaking of serving, noticed... Uh, like, where did all the lines in the parking lot go this morning, huh? Right? They all disappeared. We had an incredible team. Oh, thank you, Kat. Yes, we had an incredible team of volunteers this week who uh, we did the resurfacing and resealing on our own just to be good stewards with what God has given to us. And simply, we didn't have the resources to hire a team this year because it's so expensive. Uh, so we had a team of guys in, who came out. And uh, we spent two days, Thursday and Friday, uh, about 12 hours a day, putting a uh, sealer and filling the cracks. And some of you noticed there's probably still some cracks we missed. Thank you for noticing. Um, <laughs> but uh, you wouldn't believe how much, uh, how much work was done on that parking lot. It was really amazing. Uh, and then we could not have done it without our friends in the kitchen who were making us some amazing food. I want to ask everybody who's here this morning that was involved in doing that this week, would you stand, please, so we can recognize you? Please stand. Come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. And I also don't see Orton Mills and Jack Gibbs who are also here in their 80s. So I know Orton is. I don't know about Jack. Uh, in his 80s, out there working on the, on the pavement, guys. So uh, we really want to give them thanks for that, and uh, we're so happy that I uh, uh, want to recognize each one of you uh, who did that. Uh, I'm going to invite the ushers then to continue uh, in worship this morning. If they would come and we'll receive God's tithes and your offerings to Him, would you bow your heads with me in prayer? Father, we uh, we recognize that all good things come from You. Lord, You're the Creator of this world. You created it, and You said it was good. Uh, Lord, we know that uh, human beings mess that all up, but God, you've been in the process of restoring and reclaiming and saving ever since. And Lord, we know the good things in our lives come from you. And in the bad times, God, you're there with us. You walk with us every step of the way. You never leave us nor forsake us, uh, especially when we turn to you. And so we give you thanks and praise. And just praise the name of Jesus, our Father, and praise the name of the Holy Spirit today. Lord, we come to you now and continue to worship. We ask that you would provide for us. We trust you to provide for us as we give to you, as we give to your church, so that your mission, your work, the gospel, the saving message of Jesus can go out here in South Bend and around the world. So God, we give joyfully. We give in anticipation, knowing that people are going to come to know you because we've been faithful in our giving. So take these gifts, be honored by them, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's we'll stand together and continue in worship as we sing about our wonderful God, our everlasting God.
Sing this in with me. Love divine, all love's excelling, joy of heaven to earth, come down, fix in us thy humble dwelling, all thy faithful mercies crown, Jesus thou art all to perfect the work that he started in us. And it's what we talk about in the Church of the Nazarene. We talk about being entirely sanctified, entirely set apart to God. So let's, as we continue to sing it, this great Wesley hymn, um, I want to encourage you to continue to make it your prayer this morning. Let's sing this verse too. Breathe, O oh breathe. And breathe, O oh breathe, thy lovely spirit into
kneel in this altar before him this morning. Bring your prayers and your praises to him. Let's sing that one more time before Pastor Ray comes and gives you prayer.
Erica and Chris Watkins and their special need and their family for Cody and Megan. They have COVID and those others in our church and in our family who, who have COVID. We, Lord, pray that their healing will come quickly. We pray, Lord, for your continued touch on each of us as we face the problems of our lives and the situations of every day that you would strengthen us. pray in the words of Paul. We can continuously ask God to fill us with the knowledge of his will and all his wisdom and understanding that your Holy Spirit gives so that we may live a life worthy of the Lord. That we would please you in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God and being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that we might have great endurance and patience, and giving joyful thanks to the Father, who qualifies us to share in the inheritance with all the holy people in the kingdom of light. Lord, you have rescued us from the dominion of darkness, and you have brought us into the kingdom of the Son, your Son, that he loves and whom he has taught us to love, in whom we have redemption and the forgiveness of sins. We praise you, Lord. We give you glory in Jesus' name.